I'm confused. Why would Hirschbeck say that they fired me? They didn't fire me. There was no reason for them to fire me. Um, I quit. And I didn't want to. Um, I quit because phase two was emotional. It didn't work. And also, you know, after much prayer, I wanted to team with my husband. So, let's talk about it. husband we are team driving and CFI I think I said it in another video um, they want me to do a hundred hours OTR with a finisher I'll do that hundred hours with a finisher that should be a week maybe a week and a half depending so um, coming here to CFI my husband was considered an experienced driver and then I was considered student slash DM. So a driver mentor, that's what that means. DM um, means that my hours wouldn't be as long or as much as a student coming straight out of uh, CDL school. So um, that was a good thing. Now, let's talk about orientation day one. Orientation day one, they gave us this cute little cup. <laughs> Yep. So, uh, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but these are my colors, black and red. I love black and red. My car was dicked out in black and red. You know, I just, black and red is my color. But anyways, um, they gave us this cup on day one. Um, we also got a orientation folder, which is also red. And in this folder, um, we got a company driver reference guide. So if there's any questions while we're out on the road, anything that we may not have remembered during orientation, then that reference guide is right there to kind of keep us in tune. This talks about safety, commitment, family, teamwork, and it goes, it's a nice little thick little book. I won't go through it, but yeah. Just so you know that um, anything that they talked about, we're definitely um, able to go in here and find it. Now, um, I did put up the video with my name and my husband's name. I won't show you the other side because it has our uh, ID numbers on it. But yeah, see the EXP is experience and then the student slash DM is driver mentor. So yeah, I took these off of our desk because um, I just, I don't know, I'm a pet, right? I like to keep stuff. <laughs> so, um, also we have a book on the Omnitrack, which is what we use. Um, they used to use PeopleNet, but now they're using Omnitrack. And this book, if you are a driver, then you know that your, um, your book has to be uh, on your truck in your reach at all times per DOT. So, um, yeah, we also got this. And I'll tell you the truth, I don't remember if this came on the first day or the second day. I think this was the first day. But, yeah, this we got during orientation. Um, we've got a pre trip evaluation sheet. Now, of course, I've already got my CDL, already did the um, pre-trip for Hirschbach and did a uh, pre-trip for a Freightliner. But now, I'm doing a pre-trip for a Kenworth. So, of course, we have a completely different pre-trip that we must learn. And um, here is the study guide, which is what I've been going over um, 
four pages back and front. So you'll get that on the first day coming here. You'll also get a student study guide, just questions and answers. Um, you know, I can't remember if this, I can't remember if this sheet, I wanna say it was 78 questions. You have to answer these questions. Um, student training program, these are questions and answers. So you'll get that as well, right? You'll also get information on how to operate your tablet, how to log in. And of course, you see the little Luz app here. So yeah, you get the, we get to download apps and um, use them on our tablet. We also have a YouTube app. You can't really see it on there, but you see the name down below where it says YouTube right there. And all of the apps that they want you to download. This would have been so much easier if we could have did that. It's always good to have uh, your apps so you know what you're doing when you're out on that road. Download these apps and they work for you, okay? On the first day, we did a lot of Luma work. So if you're familiar with Luma, because I already was, so as soon as we got that link the night before, my husband and I, we downloaded uh, Luma and we jumped straight in and began to do all of the work that they were requesting us to do. I think it might have been like maybe 70 questions throughout Luma. So that's on the first day, right? Um, which was not a lot at all. We really just uh, got familiar. We got our badges. Um, I think I put that in another video, but that's over there on my bag. So we got our badges done. We, second day, uh, a little more intense. We had a little more to do, a um, little more information. We got a free hat. And all of this stuff is free, okay? We, we, we haven't bought anything, right? My hat is a little dusty, look like. But this hat came on the second day. The shirt came on the second day. It came on the first day. So... Yeah, these things were um, free, given to us. Now, on that second day, we got a loves card. My card is in my bag, but we got a loves card. That loves card came already diamond status, okay? Look, diamond status right here, top priority. You get all your free shovels, you get free drinks and everything. And this is why you're with your finisher magazine called driveline tells you everything about what's going on with the company um you also get a fuel network directory it tells you where to fuel it and what's um the best places to fuel in the 48 states well not just the 48 states because we go to mexico and canada um we got a little map of the facility and Got a couple of other things here too. Uh, terminal network, got department listings. Um, this is something that, you know, we need to keep in our trucks and keep with us at all times. So on that second day, we really did get a lot of information as far as what the company expected from us, um, what we needed to do if we were in whatever situations. So it was, it was really, really amazing. Let me see, I've got my notebook right here to where I wrote some notes down um, so yeah we talked about permits detention pay um, payroll safety compliance benefits and also uh, I told you we got our shirts on that day we were fed both days our um, instructor he took us to go to corral both days and fed us. If we wanted anything other than water, we had to purchase it ourselves. The first day we got out early. The second day we stayed a little longer because there was so much more to cover. But we did understand that once uh, we left that day, which was Tuesday. So orientation for me was that Monday and Tuesday. When we left that Tuesday, we rested all day on Wednesday. So, if I'm not mistaken, today is Thursday. 
<laughs> I don't even know. Let me see what today is, y'all. I think it's Thursday. Yes. So today is Thursday. Yesterday, my husband and I, we rested most of the day, which was Wednesday. All the way up until he got the email. He got the email saying that our truck was ready. Now, the funny thing is, and I'm going to link that in this video, but the funny thing is, we were walking through the parking lot. Hi, guys. So, as you know, we're at CFI, and orientation is over. We are walking now to pick up the truck. So, of course, I'm not getting on the truck yet. My husband is. And uh, he's going to do a little inspection, do a pre-trip, make sure everything is okay with the vehicle before he accepts the assignment. And yeah, so let me show you. I don't know if I can show you or not. I'll do it this way. How about that? Yeah, there's hubby. He's a walking. He's a walking. <laughs> but there's the trucks. And yep. We are here, getting ready to go to um, the inspection bay to get the keys. Then we'll come back down, we'll go inside, inspect, and then we'll let them know, um, you know, that everything's okay with the truck. And yeah, we keep you guys posted. And I'll say it. 53806. I just called it out because all of the numbers was just right there on the side of the trucks. And I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be saying this or not. But I called out that number. We get inside. And that was our truck. Y'all. This whole this whole ordeal has been nothing and nobody but God. So when things like that happen, you know, you can't take it upon yourself. You can't get big headed and feel like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. No, I'm nothing, <laughs> nothing without Christ. And it was just amazing to me that everything this far has been nothing but God. So he led us to this company, right? He set it up to where it was easy for my husband to leave at the right time and um god just really has done everything step by step and it's just been so phenomenal and so amazing to me he just never ceases to amaze me we uh, got the keys to the truck and we got on the truck and um you know it's fairly new vehicle and um, the funny thing is, I was watching one of the other guys' videos who works or used to work here. And, and in fact, he posted about five days ago that he was leaving CFI, but he was parked at a Love's. And he said, I was talking to this other CFI driver. And when he pointed out the window, the guy was in our truck. The same truck. I'm watching the video. How strange is that? So I'm going to link that here in the video as well. But yeah, so you see, I mean, you know, when God does a thing, he do a thing. And I, I was just watching a random video and um, saw our truck in that video. But anyways, um, we got on the truck and um, did an inspection on the truck. I have my set of keys. Well, they're over there on the bed, <laughs> but I have my set of keys. My husband has a set of keys and uh, we both have a security doohickey 
I can't remember the name of that thing, but yeah, it's a little security gadget that we um, have to unplug and take with us every time that we leave the truck. It's an anti-theft device. So, um, yeah, you know, the truck was nice. Um, you know, I did a little video. I'll, I'll link that in this clip as well, you know, of us going through the vehicle and looking at everything. Keyword, baby. Now, I've never driven a camera, but when I tell y'all, digital dashboard, click the tab, it's got every app that you want. We got plenty of cover space. I love how the armrest is. See how the armrest is? It comes up to your elbow. Yup. My husband is checking it out right now, but I'll show y'all more. As soon as we get our stuff. Now, my husband, he stayed up there really late last night, getting the feel of the truck, doing the inspection, just thoroughly going over it and through it, you know, checking uh, to see if he had a load. And I think he got his, made himself available. And But he came back here last night in the room with me and stayed here. And then he got up at 5. He went at 5 and went back over to the terminal. And then I had to be up at 10 to go to a training class uh, on the Atlas, um, on interstates, numbers. Um, it, I mean, we did that at Hirschback, so I did know a little bit, but we had a questionnaire. And I just thought that was amazing. Questions and answers. Questions and answers on the Atlas. And so that was nice, learning the highways, how they run, what states they run through. It was really interesting. We did that today. It started raining a little bit, so we didn't get to go outside to any other truck. But I think we're going to go out um, if I'm still here. <laughs> because the finishers are coming in quickly. And that's another great thing about this company. Everything is so organized. The finishers are really picking everybody up and getting everybody out of here pretty quickly. Um, I think it's about two of us left and um, we just finished orientation on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. The class had 17 in it and only two of us was left. So do the math, it's moving pretty quick. Um, I thank God for that because you know, my husband, he will, go out on a load and I like I said I don't know if it's one week or a week and a half or maybe two but I will circle back around with my finisher he will drop me off or she will drop me off and he'll pick me up and then we'll be teaming so you guys stay tuned and um thanks for watching God bless